Hey there, everyone, and welcome back. We're playing some more of The Sims for Rags to Riches on our ranch, and we're back with Kaya. So it's been a little bit since I've recorded. Um, I kind of recorded all the other episodes or parts in one session, <laughs> and I haven't really touched this game, and so much has happened. We have the new expansion pack for Rent out, and I think we also have that new stuff pack since I've come to this game. Um, but we're gonna progress with kaya and finish out this series before we start a new one so where we're at on this ranch is we just built and bought this place so we have no money our female horse right over here cinnamon is actually pregnant so we should be expecting another baby very shortly but on this part what i want to do is i want to focus on getting a ranch hand so we can have some more time to ourselves and to grow our own family because Kaya doesn't have a partner yet. So this episode, I really want to focus on finding her a partner, potentially, and getting a ranch hand, definitely. Another thing we're going to focus on is just, of course, training up our horses and making money like we have been, but that's not the main goal. Down here, we also have our nectar area, making area. And so we don't have that many bottles because I sold a lot of them in order to get this house. I plan on making more, basically. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clean out her inventory really quick. What we were doing before with the horse jumping trophies is we were putting them with the horse stalls, but we clearly don't have room for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and plop them down here with our nectar making because we really don't have any wall space anywhere else. Anyway, let's go ahead and take care of Kaya. Let's go ahead and have her to have a shower, use the restroom and get some food because she's very, very hungry. And then we're going to go and see how expensive the ranch hands are after this. Oh, and I forgot to say too, um, I got a new microphone, so it might take me a little while to get used to it. So if the audio is strange in and out of this video, I apologize. I'm trying to learn the new equipment. Um, hopefully I'll figure it out soon. Okay, while she's cooking, we're going to go ahead and hire her service for the ranch hand. Oh, it's actually not even that bad. $100 plus $12 an hour. That's plenty of time for us to get some more money. And if it takes us negative, oh well. What's in here? I completely forgot. Let's go ahead and I'm going to see what's in this inventory. Oh, there's like nothing, but there are some things on here. So after she eats, we can actually have her come down and start a yard sale and tend this table. Uh, thank you for contacting Buckaroo Ranch. I don't, I don't know. Okay. We help ranchers with livestock care, general repairs, and gardening. Your hired ranch hand will work every day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so that's 10 hours. So we're going to have to pay them like $120, $220 a day. Because we're going to sell what's on here, hopefully, so we can have enough money to pay her by the end of the day. I'm going to look at our prices. Oh, they're at $300. Okay. So there's only a few eggs in a, I don't even know what that is, aubergine. Um, and then there's a few things. Actually, you know what? We can fertilize all. So let's go ahead and do that when we're done. Can we water everything too? I think we might need to. You only got one more egg to sell. Let's go. Okay. Well, nobody's bought the last egg and it ended. She is very, very tired. So afterwards, we're going to go ahead and have her go to sleep. This ranch hand was supposed to leave at like 7, and they're still here. Oh, my gosh. Cinnamon is bursting with anticipation to meet her new fowl. Okay, so she has these horses, I swear, go into labor so quick. Where is she? Where is she? She's over here. She is in labor, so we're going to have to probably help her. Yeah, let's soothe her. Oh, my gosh. A ranch hand. Leave our horse alone. We were coming to help her. This better not be like an infant situation where as soon as we decide to do something, another sim gets in our way. You'll be fired so fast. Do your ranch hands live on the ranch? Because she's not leaving. I think she might just have the horse when she's ready because it's not letting us um, really do anything. So I'm just going to have Kaya go back to bed because, mm, yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Congratulations, a fowl is born. Cinnamon just gave birth to a fowl. What would you like to call him? Okay, so of course the last name is going to be Richie. We already have CJ. And we already have like a bunch of <laughs> cooking ingredients. Like we have butterscotch, we have cinnamon. So we're just going to name him Spice. That's probably dumb. But anyway, congratulations on the birth of your new fowl. Spice has gained the unique breeding trait. Curious. I'm actually really curious about that. Uh, let's open his horse profile. What does that do? These horses are naturally more curious and enjoy exploring objects and using horse jumps and barrels. Okay. So he's actually going to be a lot better with horse jumping, it sounds like, in barrels. So that's awesome. Maybe he'll do it on his own and we won't have to direct him as much. We'll definitely, I think, have her try to breed one more time. And I think after that, we might sell her. I feel really bad saying that. But um, they're not going to live forever. So, And we don't really use her for anything. I feel like, I feel like our 
main horse that we win competitions with is butterscotch. But when we get up, we're going to go ahead and fix these horse jumps and the barrels. That way the horses can keep doing them if they choose to. And then we'll also go ahead and have Kaya get herself ready for the day. Just like we've been doing. And since we have a ranch hand, it's actually going to be really great because we don't have to take care of the animals as much um, anymore. They should be doing it. I feel really bad saying that, but we have a lot going on. A lot of things to take care of every single day and it just become becomes too much for one person. Okay, when we're done, we're going to go ahead and um, encourage her to breed one more time. Oh, why am I freezing to death? What is going on? Okay, I didn't realize it was that cold out. Okay, but we're going to go here and we're going to look at all the profiles of our horses and see what who needs what, essentially. So, Cinnamon is lowest in agility. So, we're going to go ahead and have our practice barrel racings. And then CJ, let's go ahead and open his profile. Can he actually show jumping? Okay. CJ, why don't you come over here? and do that and then where is butterscotch we're gonna go ahead and train him a little bit we're gonna go for an intense ride that way all of the horses are just doing something at least and then when she comes home i'm gonna go ahead and see what friends she has that we might be able to go hit the town with and celebrate for her birthday oh my gosh you guys we're getting cinnamons expecting again that was so fast i didn't really expect we're gonna go ahead and throw a party for her birthday since we can't stop her from aging and i'm pretty sure the guy that we wanted to marry we got married yeah marcel wasn't it we only know like four people and our ranch hand's one of them what i'm used to tough work as a ranch hand but i have standards too i'm heading to greener pastures anyway let's enjoy our party while we can uh we don't have a cake so we can't blow out candles i thought maybe i haven't been here i should have scoped out the place no, we can't cook one either. There's no stove. But let's go over here and try to have a good time with everyone. There's a lot of people we don't know. Oh, that's why there's fans. There's a bee lister here. Oh, gosh. It's night night. <laughs> it's night night at the bar. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead. Where is the music in here? Let's slow dance with Marcel. We like him uh, only because he bought that very expensive wine from us. <laughs> I can tell this is not going to end well because there's no games to play. We can't blow out our candles. Several of us can't dance at the same time. So all we can do is eat food four times, which I'm not going to do because we don't have enough money for that. So I don't know. We should probably just take this time to get to know everyone and try to meet our next spouse. Fancy looking suit you got there, Umber. Oh my, there's three of them. Oh, this one's pregnant. Yeah, that one's pregnant. <laughs> okay, let's go down here and try to introduce ourselves to everyone that we possibly can and hope that we find somebody that's single. Okay, we've met everybody that we possibly can, so we're going to go home. That birthday was very unsuccessful, and she is going to age up herself without a cake, and I feel very bad about that. Okay, Kaya, we're going to go ahead have you change your outfit so you're not freezing to death. And I am going to have you attend this table and sell some more things because I'm sorry, but we have to get money to get another ranch hand. Oh my God. She is way too uncomfortable. Okay. All right. You win, Kaya. I will send you to go to sleep. I hate the fact that they can become so uncomfortable that they just stop attending, like standing and tending the table of all things. Like I get not wanting to like garden and paint and other stuff like that are working out but standing there at a table really for some reason she didn't age up automatically and it moved her birthday to today um let's go ahead and she is going to finish up those uh, things that i asked her to do and then she can come in here and use the restroom pick this horse barrel up all right and as we're going through our wine to see what we can sell to get money kaya aged up so adulthood she is now no longer a young adult which we knew was going to be happening. Okay, but we have all of our bottles now on the top rack, top wine rack. And we have a couple that are moderately, I'm sorry, not moderately, finely aged. We're going to go ahead and sell them. Of course, why wouldn't we? To get more money because we need a ranch hand. Okay, I'm going to try to lower our markup to 200 because we are just not having any luck selling anything. Okay, we sold something. We sold one bottle of our nectar for 1,700 simoleons. 
Should we break, like, somebody up and just to marry them? <laughs> I mean, that sounds horrible, but it's a sim, so it should be fine. Because everyone we know so far is um, married. We haven't found a single sim yet. Oh my gosh, I just want people to buy something, anything, please. Do they patch this? Like, this is not easy to sell anymore, anything. We sold one thing that whole time. That's depressing. Why were people in our house? Okay, no, no. We have to change this. We're locking this door. Lock for everyone but Kaya. And then once we hire a ranchan, let's go here actually and do that. We can allow access to the ranchan. So this is going to be our bed. Oh my gosh. Our horse has gone into labor. Okay, well, you know what? You did fine uh, <laughs> going into labor yourself last time. So this is your third time doing it. I think you'll be okay. All right, a fowl is born. Cinnamon just gave birth to a fowl. What would you like to call her? We're going to name her Sugar. Okay, and she got Hardy, which I think we already had that trait on our first on CJ. So, all right, we're going to wake up pretty early. Let's go ahead, get some food, shower, all the fun stuff that we have to do to keep her happy. And our ranch hand should be here today because we did hire one. But I was reading, like, the little help, and it said that... They're here from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. It didn't say anything about having to, um, what's it called? Uh, make like a bed or living quarters for them. So I don't actually know if we need this bed or not. I don't think we do. I think it was just glitched and uh, yeah. And we probably just didn't have money to pay her. So she left. And here we go. Here's our new ranch hand. Okay. So let's go ahead and allow access to the ranch hand. Okay. So our new ranch hand's here. She's going to help out. Thank goodness. We definitely need it. We just got 14 more eggs. <laughs> That is so many. And then we're just going to come down here because we haven't yet. And we're going to make some more nectar. We have a ton of apples, so we're just going to keep sticking to our apple nectar. Oh, we can't get down there. Okay, she can't get down here probably because of the beds. Yeah, she can get down here just fine. Now, the bed was in the way for some reason. Hm. Okay, perfect. But now we're crafting nectar indoors. So it's so much cleaner than outside, but we're still using our bare feet. Uh, Marcella is wondering if I want to go over to his house to hang out. You know what? We actually might invite him over. He does have a spouse. Let's just say that right now. He does have a spouse, but he is the one that asked us first. Perfect. He'll be right over. Oh, we're not. It's not going to let him inside our house. I just thought about that. Okay, let's go ahead and just talk to him a little bit. Get to know him a little bit. Maybe ask how him and his wife are doing a little bit. Oh my God, he's over there talking to our ranch hand. Excuse me. You're not supposed to be into her. Oh my gosh, we are getting an embarrassment moodlet because of the horrible party that we just had. And how did we get a drink in our hand? Who, what, where did that come from? But yeah, we're embarrassed because of the horrible party that we threw. Okay, but let's go ahead and um, maybe we can just, you know, flirt a little bit and, you know, say like, how are things going with you and your wife? It is New Year's after all. So maybe our resolution could be to like find a partner. Can we actually do that? Yeah, we can get a significant other. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. He's flirty. He's digging this. He's liking it. We're going to go for the first kiss. We're going to ignore the fact that he said he has a spouse. Just uh, pretend he doesn't. He won't soon. Oh. How romantic. On our ranch? At least there's no horse poop anywhere. Oh, it's behind us. Oh, my God. There's so much. Okay. Well, he didn't see that. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Okay. Ask to be our boyfriend, please. Pretty please. Oh, was that a yes? I just sped through it. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. It didn't. We didn't. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. I was like, I don't think uh, that worked. Oh, yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> he said, yes. Our resolution's complete and we got a boyfriend. Kaya really, really has to go to the bathroom. So job well done on getting a boyfriend, but don't pee your pants in front of him. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have her use the restroom. Okay, so I think another thing that we want to do is get another... I don't want to talk to you, Agnes. Is to get another um, horse competition down under our belts. That's something I want to do at least. So we did the resolution, got a boyfriend, had some horse babies, made money... <laughs> Hired a ranch hand. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, though, is get a new bed. I can't believe I sold my old one. I regret it. I regret it so much. We have a bed again. Okay, go ahead and um, sleep. And then when we wake up in the morning, we will just eat some food. What is what is on our counter? It's an apple. Okay. I didn't 
couldn't tell what that was from that far away. It's finally spring, so we should be having some new plants um, finally blooming. So maybe we can make some different types of nectar. I will go ahead and because um, we want to, I, I want to kind of race a little bit. So I'm going to look at our horses and see what abilities they have. Okay, so I think what we really need to do is just while they're training on these things, probably train with them. Okay, let's go for an intense ride. And we'll follow you around while you do that. Marcel wants to go on a date, but we are on a mission right now, Marcel. We have to win some more competitions. We haven't done that in a while. I've been so worried about, like, getting gold that I haven't even done all the competitions yet. And this pack has been out forever. And enter a competition. We haven't done Western Pleasure, so we'll try that one first. Marcel, oh my god, he is so needy. Kaya, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? You should follow your heart. I'm not telling you what to do. We've been dating for one day. That was interesting. Our new boyfriend, who has a wife, just asked us if he should change careers on day one of us dating. And now you want me to hang out with you. I said no to the date, so now you want to hang out. This dude, oh my god, did we make a mistake? We won bronze medal, and we can now participate in the next one. We're going to enter another competition. Well, let's try cinnamon. She hasn't done them either, so. Okay, perfect. We got gold and 300 simoleons. Oh my gosh, is our ranch hand not cleaning this? Must not be. We are super flirty again, so let's go ahead and invite him over. Where is he actually here? Where? We're going to plan a stay over. He can help us out, maybe. Just one night. I don't know where he was, so I just planned to stay over instead. Seems to work. And we don't have any... um. Because I have mods, and we don't have any woohoo protection, so I hope we don't get pregnant. Yeah, let me just ask him if he uh, got us covered, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he has nothing. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we should ask him if he wants kids, because this could be quite risky. He would like having kids. Okay, would we like having kids is the question. No, we wouldn't right now. <laughs> Okay, well, YOLO. They're both adults, so their uh, rate of fertility should be a little bit lower. But let's just woohoo. And pray that they don't get pregnant. What is going on? Oh, I don't think they can make it to the bed. Okay, we're, you guys can woohoo in the shower. You guys can do that. They can't fit on the bed. What is going on? Oh, I'm so dumb. It's because of the door. Let's just unlock it. There we go. My bad. Woohooing. Okay, they're spending some quality time together. Yeah, let's not let's not watch. They are definitely making that shower curtain move. All right, afterwards, you guys can go to bed. Or she can, at least, because she's very tired. And no protection was used. Okay, great. Um. Ooh, sometimes they say they have nothing, but they will end up, like, using something. So I was kind of hoping that would happen. But you know what? If she's pregnant, she's pregnant. And then we have our heir to the next generation. I'm not too worried about it. She's an adult. It's fine. Maybe they can move in together after this. That would be nice. Oh, my God. Her hunger and um, bladder needs are going down so quickly. She's probably pregnant. Oh. I don't want to take a pregnancy test because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Uh, Express devotion to beloved Sim. Maybe we should. You know what? We probably should ask him to, like, you know, commit to us or something. So while we're waiting on our grocery delivery, we're going to go ahead and talk to him a little bit. And we're going to try just in case we are pregnant, right? We want to increase increase our relationship with Marcel. We want to be able to ask him to basically leave his wife if we are pregnant. We can't propose to him because he's already married. Can we ask him to, like, leave his wife? Oh, we can. We can convince to leave a spouse. Okay, here it is. Maybe we should try to do that. Will he do it? Oh my god, he will. Okay. Um, that was interesting. Okay, so we overcame some of our fear. And he's going to leave his spouse. Perfect. I mean, perfect for us, not perfect for her. That sucks for her. Okay, but groceries just came. Everything is winding down at the house. So I think what we're going to do is leave this episode right here, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, we got a lot done in this part. We hired ranch hands. We got a boyfriend. We 
potentially could be pregnant on accident. We don't know yet. We had two new fowls be born and we created um, just a lot of money. And I know we spent a lot of that money, but um, some of our wine is finally becoming able to sell. So hopefully in the next part, more of it's able to be sold and we'll just be able to suddenly have a huge influx of cash. Maybe we'll expand on our home because if Kaya is pregnant, we are going to need more room. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye. No matter the distance, no matter the